Hey guys, guess what? We got a theory for you that you might have already heard about, but who knows, maybe not. It's a theory that Earth was actually made from two separate planets. No way, Jose, that can't be real. But let's check it out anyways, right? Because I love science, and I know you do too. All right, so here's the question of the day. If you could live on any planet, what would it be? Yes, you could say the sun if you wanted to. I'll be totally okay with that. It's fine, but just remember, you you can live on it. Just. And who would you go with? Okay, so here's a new theory that's going around. People are talking about it. Scientists are like, yeah! Okay, it's actually not a new theory. It's basically an old theory that's been revamped and updated. Now this theory all started back when they were trying to figure out, wait a minute, how did that stupid thing in the air or the moon come to be? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry moon, you're not stupid. It actually helps us like with tides and shit, you know what I'm saying? So the theory is that at one point about 4.5 billion years ago, Earth was hit by another planet. This planet was called Thea. It like long walks on the beach, it like ponies, and it like traveling through the universe at 5 billion miles a second. Either way, their previous theory is that Thea crashed into Earth, sideswiping it, and all the debris is what created the moon. But guess what? That's not the theory they're going with now. As a matter of fact, now they think that Thea and Earth went kaboom and had like a head-on collision, and Earth was fused with two planets. Two planets is better than one. Okay, so how do they figure this mumbo jumbo out? Is some guy just going, hey, I have a great theory, let's just do it. So scientists have analyzed rocks from the Apollo moon landings, and they've gone in and they've gone, wait a minute, these things have something similar to some rocks on Earth. Rocks more specifically from, you know, Hawaii and Arizona. Basically, they found out that these Earth rocks and moon rocks have similar oxygen isotopes. And the reason they think that Earth and Thea, well, had a head-on collision is because they believe that if Thea sideswiped Earth, Earth, the moon would be made of different isotopes. Anyways, I want to know your thoughts on this. Do you think it's bogus? Do you think the moon came from something else? Do you think maybe it's just a mini Death Star made out of metal? I don't know. Let me know all your theories down there in the comments below. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been IO. I've been Dave Wobble. It's been awesome hanging out with you guys. Other than that, check out our other videos and hit the subscribe button. And on top of that, guys, follow me on Instagram. That's right. Hit me up over there. Leave a message. I will get right back to you. And I promise. We'll get some shirtless sh photos. Urgh. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Anyways, see you guys later. Keep it real. Keep it classy. Keep it on the flip side out there in the real world. Bye!